Well, hey, howdy, hey, welcome back to Score Play Spyro the Dragon. We are now on our way to Nasty Nork's Lair. Whoosh. So let us go. Nasty the Nork is a terrible boss, by the way. It has no checkpoints in it, and you have to chase down keys. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. I confused a rat for a gem. That happens. Delbin, the first dragon we saved. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Okay, so we got... Three levels, no, I believe it's only two levels, and then, uh, it's straight to Nasty Nork. The Nasty Nork levels aren't that difficult, from what I remember. There aren't, like, those, it's not like Treetops or that last level that I was on. See, this level has 400 treasure and two dragons. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was quite foolish of me. Oh, I was like, do I have to get him twice? Sorry, little rat. It's nothing personal. I like rats. They are adorable. Oops, no, get out of the way. That one had fire, though. How do I... Yeah. I was like, I know I gotta do that somehow. He's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him.
Oh, oh, I almost made that. But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, right? Sorry, little buddies. I don't think it explodes when I ram it. It does. Okay, I need to hit that over here. When I mean that, I'm talking about that barrel. Okay. I miss right stick camera controls. Bad Spyro. Oh man. All the way back there. I gotta take all these guys out again. Wahoo. Should I say 400? Yes. Still got a ways to go. Oh no. No. by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. For those of you who do not know that reference, 
it is an homage to Parappa the Rappa, which was another PS1 game. It was, uh, that's a fun game. I might play that one on the channel and highly embarrass myself in my lack of rhythm. Whoa. You gotta believe! That's a good game. I mean, if anything, for like the Master Onion, because Master Onion is just awesome. Keep punch, it's all in the mud. I haven't thought about that game in so long. Didn't they remake that recently? Or just give it just an HD release? I'm not remembering. I don't follow really what Sony's doing these days. Dumb luck. So, does anyone have like a dream title for the year 2020? Or like any kind of remake? Or just like a re release? Mine is very, a very simple one. Well, it's a very simple request, I guess. Uh, I want them to, when I say them, I mean Capcom. I want Capcom to re-release the Mega Man Legends games for the Nintendo Switch. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, goodness. That was a barrage of ouch. The uh, Legend series. I only really got to play through the first one. Is... Ooh, okay. It's just an absolute awesome game. I know a lot of people will argue with me on that. Say that the controls are bad, the story's bad, blah blah blah. But phew, man. When I was a when I was twelve, that game was epic to me. You know, I might just <laughs> I might play that next now. I haven't even come across the locked chest. Ooh, where is the locked chest? I don't know where the chest is. Okay, careful. If you don't know what Mega Man Legends is. Oh, jeez, come on. It is a third-person action RPG. Where you play as Mega Man. But not Mega Man per se, it's an alternate dimension. It's, it's strange. It's a... It, it, he exists in a universe where Mega Man is a video game and he was armor and everything was based off of said video game as I said it's weird but it's good it's very very good you play as um, a profession called a digger which means that you dig things yeah I just need to... There's the chest. You go around looking for crystals that are used as energy refractors.
Is that it? Yes, sir. Let us get out of here. And along the way, you have to fight... Uh, God, what are they called? They're called Reaver Bots. They're basically guardian robots for these underground uh, dig sites. And I went the wrong way to get to the exit. But I'll save my game anyway, because I completed this level. But it's just loads of fun. I mean, tank... Yes, it does have tank controls, which deter a lot of people. And I kind of wish that people would look past some control mechanisms for some games. Like, yes, I know that tank controls are very archaic. And I know before I was just talking about how you can't play Goldeneye anymore. But there are some cases where a game's control style doesn't matter. There's a huge difference between a third-person game and a first-person one. Big, big difference. Whereas I feel you can't play Goldeneye if you've played a modern FPS. You can't. You can go back to a tank control game, in my opinion. Depending. Twilight Harbor. Let's see, so I got Twilight Harbor, one more, and then Nasty Nork. Or no, one's Nork's treasure. So it's only two more levels, then... I forget. Anyway. But you can go back to a tank control game, in my opinion. Like uh, Resident Evil, for example. I still feel that Resident Evil holds up. I don't remember if Silent Hill was tanky in its control scheme. But Silent Hill's a good game. In the remake, they had like Splatoon weapons. Here they just got straight up machine guns, they don't care. E for everyone. Oh! Excuse me? What was he hitting me with? Unacceptable, sir. Okay, this level also has 402 dragons? Not 402 dragons, but 400 gems and two dragons. I needed to go this way first. No! Oh, no, sploosh. Into the water. Into the water, I sploosh. Hello. How you doing? What? Okay, let's, let's just think about that for a second. That thing was... That was bullcrap is what that was. That wasn't even aimed at me. Wasn't even aimed at me. I call shenanigans of like the highest degree over that grenade. Where's that platform I was on? I passed it. There's gems I need. Ooh, don't fall off again. As much as I love this game, the controls aren't as snappy as I would like them to be. Like, sometimes Spiral will go on a canter. Like... Like that, but then it's just he'll go full tilt. Oh, Martha, Martha Mayhew. Oh. Okay. Again!
Yeah, I got you that time, buddy. Sorry, rats. Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. Quite welcome. Okay, I need the supercharge to get that chest. There is a supercharge ramp here. Can we get an instant replay on that? Oh, come now! I need that for reasons. Let's activate you in case I die like an idiot. Cletus. Be on the lookout for Nord Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Such edge. Such edge. What? How did that end that? I was still going. Still going. Okay, well, let's lower the front ramp. The bridge. I should say it's more of a bridge. Got it.
am I doing? What am I doing indeed? I hit you first. That was a twofer. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Yep. Just got to take care of Nasty Nork. And then we get his treasury and that's it gonna save and end this episode here again my name is score chaser thank you again for joining me please be sure to stay tuned to this channel and our main chabble chabble fabo meerkat for more updates about upcoming videos and projects and you can follow me on twitter at skunk wants a taco and tabo meerkat at tabo meerkat on twitter for updates and polls and future events news etc about what's going on Please take care, have a beautiful day, and stay awesome.